welcome to i love pharmacology in this session let us understand the very important drug that is let me read on so at the end of the session you should be able to tell on which receptor this meditator acts whether it is agonist or antagonist where it is useful what is the mechanism of action how it is different from triptans can it be given in cardiovascular disease patient what is the effect on blood vessels and also you're going to get a flow chart of lesmeditan mechanism of action so let's understand lesmeditan lesmeditan is a highly selective 5ht 1f receptor agonist so it is a serotonin receptor agonist it is highly selective 5ht 1f receptor agonist which are present in the trigeminal ganglia both in the periphery as well as in the central trigeminal ganglia they are basically used to treat acute migraine it has to be given through oral route and the mechanism here is since they are found in the trigeminal ganglion neurons so the stimulation of 5ht1 alpha receptor present on the trigeminal ganglion neurons will inhibit the release of CGRP that is calcitonin gene related peptide as well as the glutamate receptors predominantly it blocks the CGRP release which is responsible for the neurogenic inflammation and the headache so basically it inhibits CGRP both peripherally as well as centrally thereby it inhibits the peripheral and central pain signaling thereby inhibiting the nociceptive sensitization so mainly it inhibits dural as well as CGRP induced nociceptive and the inflammatory responses apart from that in addition it also enhances and normalizes the mitochondrial function which may be defective in case of migraine and also it has got no action on the pyst one b one d receptors which are located on the cerebral blood vessels because of these they do not cause vasoconstriction so that is the reason why this can be used very safely in case of cardiovascular patient since it does not cause vasoconstriction it has got high affinity towards the 5ht 1f receptor compared to the 5ht 1b 1d receptor which are not activated but triptans will going to activate 5ht 1b 1d receptors on the cerebral blood vessels leading to vasoconstriction so coming to the summary on which receptor they act so they act on the 5ht1 alpha receptors it is agonist it is useful in the treatment of acute migraine mechanism faction three different mechanism faction reduces cgrp release from trigeminal ganglia normalizes the mitochondrial function and also it has got less affinity towards the 5-HT1B1D receptor present on the cerebral blood vessels thereby it decreases the vasoconstriction how it is different from triptans triptans has got high affinity towards 5-HT1B1D receptor but less mediton has got no affinity towards 5-HT 1B1D receptors can it be given in cardiovascular disease patient yes because it does not have affinity towards 5-HT 1B1D receptor which is going to cause vasoconstriction so what is the effect on blood vessels plasmoditon has got no effect on the uh, blood vessels that is the cerebral blood vessels because it does not activate the 5-HT 1B1D receptor thereby there will be no vasoconstriction 
So coming to the mechanism, let's meet it on. It's a 5 ht one alpha receptor agonist, decreases CGRP release, thereby decreases the nociceptive sensitization, thereby decreases the headache in case of acute migraine. In addition, it normalizes the mitochondrial activity and it has got no effect on the cerebral blood vessels. And how to remember this? So DTANS belongs to migraine group. They are used to treat migraine. MI stands for migraine. Here you can see that if you go in a backward direction, DTANS, MI stands for migraine. S stands for it stimulate the 5-HT. 1F receptors, A stands for acute migraine, used to treat acute migraine and L stands for the oral, oral, oral ends with L. So this is how you can remember the lesmediton which is a newer drug. Thank you.